how much is made in india for the world for worry as percentage of your turnover and so, when you export uh, our margins higher than india so uh, in fy24 okay. um, roughly about 58% uh, to 60% of our products were exported this is and where you compete with china this is where you compete with the world uh, we do compete with the world okay. but obviously we are also creating our new supply chains because there is a non china demand even in the us mm -hmm. so there is an alternative supply chain also which we are believe in as as we speak now uh, like i said 40% is domestic and as we integrate further you know we will today we are about 13.3 gigawatts mm -hmm. Uh, we will, with the PLI and our new factory, uh, we'll go up to 21. We'll also have a cell capacity of uh, 11 gigawatts mm -hmm. and ingot wafer of 6. So this gives us a lot of flexibility to not only cater to make in India, but also to look at the U.S. export markets and, of course, the other markets as uh, they develop. So I think we retain the flexibility to go either way. Okay. Now let's understand why should our viewers subscribe in Vari Energies. The big picture is great. The size of opportunity, like we say, the size of the pond is great. Now, let's look at the risk. Any investment comes with risk. You will appreciate my question. Question number one, which is the obvious risk is, there is over-dependence on this China plus one. What if policy changes, both locally and globally? Then what happens? As a company, we have been working mm -hmm. on these all kind of the risk. So, are we developing a products enough? So, today we are the largest product range. Mm -hmm. So we talk about somebody comes for the application, mm -hmm. he wants a solar panel like this carpet, mm -hmm. we say it is available. What is the smallest solar panel you have? Mobile phone? Paper? Yeah. The mobile phone can work on solar panel? Absolutely. Oh, wow. yeah. So you want, you want to run the auto rickshaws mm -hmm. on the solar panel, we are running the two auto rickshaws now. So number one, the de-risking the company is how much we are working on the new products, new solutions mm -hmm. development and in the entire energy transition how much we are increasing our space into that. The second thing comes how geographically mm -hmm. uh, we are diversifying ourselves. For example, in United States now we are starting the new factory which will be operational mm -hmm. in the next quarter. Our machines are mm -hmm. in and the work mm -hmm. is going on there. The third thing comes how much we are offering a differentiation between mm -hmm. the products and all that. Mm -hmm. So that uh, the end of the company will continue uh, and that's our performance picks today. So, so it is not only this policy benefit which you have. I mm -hmm. mean, even if China plus one globally, if a policy change happens, you will continue to grow. Right.